turn the negative into a positive. Research in the United States has found that negative experiences have a far more significant and lasting impact on people than positive experiences, so much so that it takes on average 12 positive experiences to make up for one bad experience. This suggests real merit in minimising negative experiences, particularly given that a loyal customer is worth, on average, 10 times more than their first purchase. With this in mind, it is interesting to note Australian research showing that 47% of people who lodge complaints about a product with the vendor report having the problem resolved. In other words, 53% report that the issue was not resolved. Further, for that 53%, the likelihood of a repeat purchase or referral is very low indeed. The likelihood of the business extracting full value from those customers is negligible. In fact, in Australia, the industries worst in this regard are reported to be electronics and electrical and telecommunications. Where problems were resolved, 84% were resolved between the customer and the vendor, meaning that 16% went to some form of arbitration. I think it is safe to say that where arbitration is involved, the likelihood of the customer doing business with this vendor again is limited. Further to this, resolving these problems are estimated to cost consumers $16.31 million a year, businesses $18.03 million a year. It is important to avoid problems where possible, given the cost involved in resolving problems, and will almost always be a great deal less than the cost of losing a customer. Turn the negative into a positive. Sources of core statistics, Help Scout and Australian Consumer Law.